Hey guys, how's it going? Says back again, and welcome to something a little bit different. This is a, a new sort of video that I haven't really done before on my channel, but I'm hoping to do a few of these kind of videos in the future, kind of one-offs where you guys have been asking me loads of questions, and uh, I can kind of put one of those questions into a video format and actually show you what the uh, the sort of thing is. So um, today's, as you'll be able to tell from the title, is uh, about what I use to record and how I make my videos. I get asked this constantly, so I thought. Thanks to uh, Elgato Gaming, they uh, were actually kind enough to send me the, uh, the new 60fps uh, version of their particular recording software. So uh, thanks to them, there's a link down in the description if you want to check them out. But um, I thought, well, why not take this advantage? I get asked in the comment section all the time, you know, says, what do you use to make your videos? What equipment do you use? What software do you use? How do you do it? So uh, this is going to be an extra little upload. This won't take the place of any normal FIFA or stream footage. It's going to be an extra upload, so don't worry, everything else that normally goes up on the channel will continue to do so. But uh, I haven't as of yet had the chance to open this. They sent it to me over a week ago, and uh, I've been so busy making videos and streaming for you guys, I actually haven't had a chance to, uh, to open it up. So I'm going to just open it up here and hopefully it's uh, inside. It is. Hopefully it's inside. Uh, it's actually tiny. The size of the thing that is, if I can actually hold it up against my hand, it's kind of the same size as my palm, if not smaller, which is, that'd be perfect. The thing that I've got at the minute is probably like this. So uh, that'd be perfect for traveling, etc. It's, it films in 60 frames per second. So some of the, uh, some of the YouTube stuff, I'm going to actually, this is the first time I've opened it. So I'm going to go and have a play with the software, with the recording software, and then I'll be able to uh, record my screen and show you how I edit all my software together and how this thing works. But I'm looking forward actually to putting some uh, some 60 FPS FIFA stuff out if you guys would be interested in seeing hopefully an improvement in quality in my videos. And it should do, and it does come with uh, the two cables. One, I presume, is from your computer to the uh, device itself, and the other one is to go from Xbox to the device and then I'm ready to go, so I'll see you in a second where I'll actually show you how I make your videos and answer the question that I consistently get in my comment section. Everybody has different ways of recording their particular content. I personally have uh, been very set in my ways with the way that I record and edit content for, uh, for career mode, obviously on FIFA 15, that's the only real sort of content I upload at present, although I am planning on uh, doing other content. But the first thing to do is uh, obviously load up the El Ghetto software. This is the uh, the new capture software that I've been using recently, and uh, hopefully I'll uh, be getting some 60 FPS content to you over on the channel at some point soon. Obviously, whilst in the build up to this, I've still been using my old software, but this is the new software, the uh, Elgato Game Capture HD software, and it is so ridiculously simple to use. All I did was go into the settings and select where I wanted my uh, my videos to record to, and then literally, it's plug and play. So I've plugged the uh, Xbox into the Elgato, the Elgato to the telly, and then the Elgato to the PC via the cables that were provided, and it is literally as simple as capture. That's, <laughs> that is as simple as it gets when it comes to actually recording content, at least for me. Obviously, other people will have stuff that is uh, a lot more complicated with face cam integration and overlays, etc., which is something, obviously, I'm looking into doing for my streaming, but at present, my, uh, my YouTube software or my YouTube uh, setup is uh, very, very simplistic right now. This is how I personally uh, decide to do it. So I'll just show you, for example... This is uh, the old Chelsea save that I'll be going back to later on in the summer, uh, just for something to be on in the background. But you can see uh, here on the screen, you can hear and uh, see the uh, the changing of the uh, of the audio, and it's actually uh, you can change uh, how loud you want the audio to be. Obviously, I, you can either do this on the, in this software here, or where I tend to do the alterations to uh, the you know kind of game level audio uh, levels and uh, the commentary audio levels, I uh, edit that in my uh, editing software rather than in the, in the Elgato Game Capture. But you can stream straight from this as well as you can see, or you can record uh, live commentary directly through this as well. I personally choose to do it a different way and I will show you how uh, I do that in a second, but uh, it is literally this simple. So uh, I'm just going to quickly scroll through here just so you've got something to look at in the background, but you can see the, uh, the audio uh, kind of levels on the thing changing as I scroll through. You can hear the click as I go through and obviously when it's in game it would hit the upper reaches of this and uh, it would be a case of fiddling with it in your editing software to uh, to get the audio levels correct. Uh, I am planning on returning to this Chelsea series actually um, when I finish the Inter series so if you missed out on any of this 
then uh, feel free to, uh, to to check the playlist because it's all there and I am planning on returning to it at some point in the summer. But that's effectively how I record my, soft, or my uh, footies. It really is that simple. And uh, obviously you uh, hit the button again to stop capturing and uh, it's it, you can change your video title on the fly. So obviously that particular footage will have been saved as Chelsea Squad Report. With my old previous software, it saved it as a load of random letters. So uh, it's nice to actually have a piece of software where you can actually name the video title uh, straight off the bat so it goes in here but then if I load up my uh, my uh, windows the way I choose to do it is uh, or choose to have my uh, stuff laid out as you can see is uh, with the I have all of my raw footage goes in neither uploaded or edited then in not uploaded are all of the the, uh, the ongoing Sony Vegas files and then the videos that have actually been uh, already created and then once they're uploaded I put them into this folder and then obviously it's uh, just very. It's a lot easier to organise because I know some people just uh, record straight to their uh, desktop and then have stuff really very unorganised and it's hard to find stuff. But all commentaries as I record them go in here, and obviously all the raw footage goes in here. But uh, you can see now that I've stopped recording, it has as it is uh, selected to go via the uh, the settings into the uh, the D drive libraries and videos. And uh, here it is, D drive, libraries, videos, and there's the thing, it gives you the name of it obviously, and then uh, the time and date as well, it gives you a timestamp, so obviously it would be easier to, uh, to find as well. If you were looking for a particular uh, piece of footage, you could obviously remember when you uh, timed it, or when you recorded it, and then go to it via that way, but obviously renamed it Chelsea Squad Report, and then we'll go into my uh, editing software, which personally I use Sony Vegas, you can obviously once it's been recorded, uh, remove it from this particular screen here just by uh, deleting that, it doesn't delete it from the, uh, doesn't delete it from your computer, it just deletes it from this particular piece of software, so if we shut that down, and then uh, I'll go back in just to show that it's uh, still there, uh, neither uploaded nor thing, and it's still there, you see Chelsea Squad Report, and it is still here, so it just removes it from the Elgato software. But then the editing software I personally use is Sony Vegas, and I use uh, Sony Vegas Pro 11. On my laptop previously to get my new PC, I used Sony Vegas Pro 10, but now I, uh, I use 11. And you, there, this piece of software can be can be very, very complicated, and you can do a plethora of things with it, so many different things, but what I do is extremely simple. Obviously, with career mode, there isn't, or the particular content that I make, there isn't much to it when it comes to depth of, uh, you know, various different things in it. It's literally just a gameplay file, an intro, so I've got intros here. Uh, for some reason, when I um, recorded this and then rendered it, it started again, so I have to always do that at the beginning of each of my uh, videos, but obviously, uh, it is literally very, very simple. Rather than, you know, can just drag and drop the squad report thing in here, you see it's got the video track and then it's got an audio track. Uh, and what I do, because it's whenever, with every, uh, even my old my old one and my new recording device, the uh, the colour seems a little bit washed. Uh, you probably can change that in the settings actually on the Elgato itself, but the way I choose to do it is here. I use uh, video event, video, ev video event FX, uh, and then I choose the colour curves and you can, you can see, I'll probably show you on the fly, you can see you can alter it by uh, doing this. And then if I just uh, put it back to where it was, then uh, you can see it just kind of makes it, it just freshens it up. If I control Z, you can see it looks a little bit washed out there. But then if you go to brighter, it just makes it a little bit more vibrant, brings the contrast up so it, uh, it looks nicer to the eye and uh, all of the colours are a little bit more vibrant, so uh, obviously it's an easier watch. But to show you how I actually edit edit, uh, I will bring in the raw footage of, say, uh, an Inter Milan episode, which is one that uh, you may have seen by this point or may not have, so I won't give you too many spoilers. But uh, again, obviously, going to uh, go into the video effects, which is this little symbol here. There are, like I say, plenty of options, loads of different options, but I keep things simple. I go colour curves, and then uh, I just edited the default one to this one and called it brighter and then saved it and uh, that just improves the uh, vibrancy of the colors and then literally honestly the way that I edit my stuff is you just click wherever you want on the thing I won't go too far in obviously to avoid uh, spoilers if you haven't seen this video yet but if you just press S it cuts the uh, the footage in at that particular stage and it, it will cut unless you separated the uh, the files which obviously I don't because you need the audio uh, tracked at the same time as the uh, the video then uh, you can just uh, delete this and then move it along and then literally obviously other people with uh, other pieces of software and other kind of layers with face cam etc and other pictures and overlays will have a much more heavily detailed 
uh, video tracks here, or much more heavily detailed tracks all told, and have multiple, multiple tracks. But the way I do mine, obviously we always start with the beginning of the uh, match, and then literally, oh, that's just force a habit to go control S after I've cut to uh, to save it. I literally just scroll left and right, like I speed it, I zoom, you zoom in and out obviously, and you, you see here the frame count, it will move at a certain number of frames per per click. I always go it, honestly, this is the simplest way I've found to uh, oh, zoom in, not out, cheers, to uh, to edit my content. I just sit here like this. It's time consuming, but it's the uh, the most relaxing and uh, easiest way I've found. I did it again. <laughs> Force a habit to uh, to edit this. So I literally just go to the gameplay. Obviously, you can see from the audio where something is actually going to happen. So you can see the the boost in game audio there, where obviously the crowd cheered because there was a goal. And uh, with games where there are multiple goals, then obviously I would literally just go straight to the the boost. So that's, there's a goal there scored by a home team because obviously there's a louder thing as a boost here. So maybe that was a goal. Obviously, yeah, it was. See, uh, spoilers. I went two and up in this game, but you just literally just scroll across like that. <laughs> It's honestly the most simple thing for me. I found this is the perfect way to uh, to do career mode. And then obviously when you're actually in the game, and for example in a game that doesn't have as many chances or as many goals, I literally just scroll like this. Some people would choose to uh, or would like to, uh, when they're actually recording, make a note of like the in-game minutes so they can skip straight to the highlight. And I used to do that, but I actually found this way is actually a lot easier. It's a lot quicker for me to do this. So obviously there we've seen two chances and ordinarily if I wanted to, uh, to actually include that chance in the video I'd cut it out with the S and then remove the footage that I don't want and then obviously it just click play let me just mute the uh, the audio on that you just click play and then obviously watch it play through and then once the chance is done Dabala has his shot terrible shot goes well wide you just pause it cut it put it over here and then that's it you're done literally the way I do my stuff is that simple so obviously if you're doing similar content to me then uh, you really can be that simple with it and it is so very very effective that it saves a lot of time because obviously when it comes to editing etc when it comes to YouTubing people just assume that you play video games and then that's it it's such an easy job it is easy in the sense of you know it's not as hard as uh, manual labor etc but you it is extremely time consuming when it comes to the edit editing side of things, especially if you go a lot more in detail than I do with face cam and overlays and uh, fancy editing, etc. Where you know people cut and copy uh, different pieces of footage in from various different places. Obviously, with my career mode, it's just one piece of footage that I cut down, but with uh, people, you know, you see people do uh, in real life vlogs etc it's various different pieces of footage that would obviously have to go on different audio tracks or different video tracks and this would become very very cluttered but with mine it is extremely simple and I am, I am thankful for that because it is quite time consuming when it comes to actually editing software but that really is as simple as it gets for me uh, obviously when I'm recording my player it's a little bit more complicated but literally <laughs> barely any uh, barely much obviously you bring the my player footage in uh, just, an is, just as an example, and then I record my live commentary for my uh, for my my player in uh, Sony Vegas as well, so that it's already already matched uh, when it comes to uh, FPS etc. or um, just audio peaks. So once it's built the peaks, as you can see, it's just loading the footage in. And when it's done that, I'll be able to show you how I match it up. Obviously, whilst it's uh, doing that in the background, we can do the color curves as well to make sure that uh, you see, just wait for the change and bink, much brighter, much nicer to, to view and watch. Uh, there we go, that's that one. And then it will do the, um, do the commentary, there you go. But the way I do it, obviously, is uh, I just line, it's very, very simple for me because obviously, again, I do very, very simple content, but I just see I do, and you just line it up like that. So there was the central, and it's I do it again. Very, very simple. And then obviously, as you can see, uh, when it comes to the MyPlay content, I know exactly where to go because I'm not, I don't commentate the entire thing. I commentate the key highlights. So if I go here, you can see this is, uh, was this a goal scored or was it us winning a penalty? I can't quite remember, but you can see uh, it's all, all, the commentary audio is lined up with the gameplay audio. So I'll let you listen for a second. I'm gonna play in Turkey here and then try and make a decent run myself to draw the defenders away. Oh, called for through ball. Might still come, I am on side here. Griezmann will get it to me, I'll get it back to him. Got myself, and I think that's Gabby pushing forward in the box. 
I'm not sure where Churchy is. There he is on the edge of the box waiting. Man goes down in the box and it's a definite penalty. Griezmann completely sells the defender. This is exactly that simple. And obviously I would just go here, cut, then go up, cut again, cut here, cut here. And then that is that piece cut out. And I can just obviously, if I just remove these, just for an example, move that just by moving to the left and set it where you want. And obviously with Sony Vegas being as good as it is, it will actually s stop it on this particular thing here. Now what I used to do for uh, transitions, etc., I used to, oh, what are you doing here? I used to, where is it? Uh, dissolve. I used to use the uh, addictive dissolve. Is it addictive or the default dissolve? One of the two. I think it was, I think I actually used addictive dissolve and you put it on there and uh, don't bother changing anything else other than that. Oh, I'm over here. Over here, please. And then I just oh, zoom in a little bit more. Do this, and then it, it fades. It will fade out like that, and then it would. F I do the same if I go back and bring this over here. I do the same on the uh, the other piece. Addictive dissolve. Again, X out of that. Put it here, and it will just. It would dissolve out. And then it would dissolve back in again. But obviously having to do that for every clip became very, very time consuming. So if I just quickly undo all of the uh, that, then you can see actually with uh, Sony Vegas uh, Pro 11, I couldn't do this previously with Pro 10. It didn't do it. But if I, you just, oh, if you just bring this up to here and move it across, you can actually, it does it for you by doing this, you see. I don't know whether obviously if you use different software, editing software to me, then uh, I don't know whether this sort of thing is available, but it really is that simple. And obviously, again, with that commentary, and then it it fades from clip to clip. Uh, I think it actually lagged there. Hang on, let me just do it this way. Uh, I'll mute that so you don't have to continue to listen to that. But you see, it should just fade from... It's, just, it's actually lagging in my Sony Vegas. I apologise for that. But obviously, you know uh, what it looks like from seeing my content. It fades from... Uh, from piece to piece. I mean, maybe if I make it a little bit bigger, obviously the fade would happen a lot more quicker than it will do in this particular instance. But uh, you'll be able to see, hopefully, it won't lag too much on my Sony Vegas. You'll be able to actually see the transition happen. Yeah, you can see it fades from one clip to the other. And uh, that's the way I do it now. And it really is very, very simple indeed. But it is extremely effective. So that's how I edit my particular software. Obviously, uh, I hope this has been of some help to you. I'm, it's the first sort of video of this particular type that uh, I've ever seen or I've ever uh, decided to actually create. So obviously, let me know in the comment section if it's of any help to you personally. If it is, then fantastic. If it isn't, I apologize. But uh, hopefully I've been able to, uh, to answer that question in at least some sort of detail. And uh, fingers crossed, if you are a content creator yourself, it will help you out. If uh, you're looking for perhaps a simpler way to uh, edit down your career mode content, but uh, that's the way that I do. Obviously, you can get a lot more complicated with uh, various other types of content. But for me, it's really that simple. And then this is the software I use to record my computer screen. And uh, when I record uh, streams etc or when I do actually stream stream this software I'm sure you would have heard of it before it's called OBS open broadcast software this is the, uh, the software I use uh, it goes it's a bit of a I don't even know what the the word is I'm looking for kind of inception there we go kind of recording inception is it it shows it again and again and again. But anyway, I'm waffling. Now, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Again, uh, thank you to Elgato for providing me with the new HD60 uh, FPS piece of uh, hardware. And hopefully you guys will be able to see some 60 FPS content on the channel at some point soon. But that is going to bring this one to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if there's anything else of this sort you would like to see in the comment section. And let me know your feedback on this particular video in the comment section as well. And uh, I will see you next time.